The Election Commission of Pakistan denotified 34 PTI MNAs after their resignations were accepted by National Assembly Speaker Raja Parvez Ashraf. The PTI had resigned in mass from the lower house of the parliament following the ouster of PTI Chief Imran Khan in April last year. Subsequently, the National Assembly Speaker had accepted only 11 of the resignations, stating that the remaining lawmakers would be summoned individually for verification. The notification issued by the electoral watchdog today stated that the lawmakers were denotified with immediate effect. In addition to the 34 PTI lawmakers, the ECP also denotified Awami Muslim League Chief Sheikh Rashid Ahmed. The denotification of the lawmakers comes days after PTI Chief Imran Khan stated that Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif would be tested through a confidence vote in a tit-for-tat move similar to the one he himself had faced as the Premier in April. Punjab opposition leader Hamza Shabazz nominated Mohsin Nakhvi and Ahad Chima for the caretaker chief minister's position. The PTI and PMLQ had finalised three consensus candidates on Sunday as the nominees for the appointment of a caretaker chief minister in the province. The nominees included Cabinet Secretary Ahmed Nawaz Sukhera, former Health Minister Nasir Khan and former Chief Secretary Nasir Saeed Khosa. In a letter sent to the Punjab Governor Bali Rahman, Hamza disapproved of the nominees proposed by outgoing Chief Minister Parvez Lai. The development came hours after Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif consulted with the government's coalition partners to discuss the PMLN's nominees for Punjab caretaker Chief Minister. Speaking to the media in Lahore, PTI leader Fawad Chaudhary said that the names proposed by the PMLN were non-serious. मुझे ये लगता है कि ये किसी ने मीडिया में ऐसे जो है ना वो लतीफा छोड़ा है मुमकिन नहीं है कि इतने गए जो आहाद चीमा साहब का आप नाम ले रहे हैं आहाद चीमा साहब तो नैब के केस में कोई एक्यूज नजर आता है इनके शबाज शरीफ के और इसी तरह से जो मोहसिन नकवी साहब हैं वो तो सारे करने कराने वाले हैं तो ये लोग तो वैसे नॉन सीरियस होंगे और मेरा नहीं ख्याल कि इनके ऊपर कोई जो है वो कुछ संजीदा बात भी हो सकती है Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government spokesperson Barrister Muhammad Ali Saif said the KPSA media solution summary will be sent to Governor Haji Ghulam Ali before midnight. CM Saab, Chief Minister Saab, today, inshallah, assembly ki tehleel ki summary ko sign karke governors ko bejwa denge aur phir aage 48 ghente governor ke paas hain. Agar usne dastkhat kar diye to jaldi tehleel ho jayegi aur agar na kiye to 48 ghente baad tehleel ho jayegi. साढ़े तीन बजकर सवा चार मिनट पर हो जाएगी। अगर आपने ऐसा जवाब पूछने में कहा शाम का मतलब यही है कि अभी करेंगे, तैयारी करेंगे और इंशाल्लाह आज ही होगी। आज हो जाएगी। बारह बजे रात से पहले पहले। Over the weekend on 14 January, the Punjab Assembly stood dissolved as Punjab Governor Bali Rahman excused himself from the process, saying he could not become a part of the move. Subsequently, KB Chief Minister Mahmood Khan had also promised to dissolve the KB Provincial Assembly following the dissolution of the Punjab Assembly. Saying a summary to this effect would be sent to Governor Ali on 17 January. The polling in Karachi on Sunday remained peaceful by and large with sporadic reports of violence. However, suspicions were raised as official results from the ECP, which continued polling till midnight, came to a sudden stop. It took the Commission hours to restart the process. The situation attracted a strong reaction from the opposition parties who accused the ECP of conniving with the ruling PPP to forge results. Senior Muttahida Kami movement leader Vaseem Akhtar said the recently contested local elections had and revealed the true face of the Pakistan People's Party while also accusing the PPP of rigging in the elections. While announcing to take the issue to the court, he said the MQMP wanted to appeal before the Chief Justice of Pakistan to take a suomote notice of the hooliganism and rigging in the local elections. Today, it is proven that the Election Commission and the government of Sindh have been able to do the gerrymandering जो प्री पोल रिगिंग की है और खास तौर पे हैदराबाद कराची के जो इलेक्शन हुए हैं उस पे सुप्रीम कोर्ट के चीफ जस्ट, चीफ जस्टिस साहब सो मोटो लें Sin Chief Minister Murad Ali Shah said that the PPP had won the most number of seats in the local government polls, hence it had the right to appoint its own mayor. The CM added that PPP would work with all the stakeholders in the best interests of Karachi. Karachi may be Pakistan People's Party, uh, ki sabse zyada seat hai, and agar mayor 
کسی کو بنانے کا حق ہے وہ پاکستان پیپلز پارٹی کا ہے لیکن اس کے ساتھ ساتھ ہم جماعت اسلامی سے بھی اور انہوں نے بڑی میں مبارک بات بھی دیتا ہوں ان کی بڑی زبردست کامیابی انہوں نے بھی حاصل کی ہے ہم سب کے ساتھ مل کے سن کی بہتری کے لیے کام کرنا چاہیں گے Meanwhile, the Jamaat Islami had announced to stage countrywide protests earlier in the day against the apparent delay in the results of local government elections in Karachi and Hyderabad divisions. Shares at the Pakistan Stock Exchange fell sharply with analysts attributing the sell-off to political uncertainty and delay in the completion of the IMF's ninth review. The benchmark KAC 100 index plunged by 1378.54 points or 3.47% to close at 38,342.21 points, its lowest level since July 27, 2020. Today's sell-off marked the highest one-day slide since June 24, 2022, according to analysts. The index reached an intraday low of 38,287.81 points, down by 1,432.94 points or 3.74% at 323 p.m. Analysts say the market was already under pressure because of political uncertainty after the dissolution of the Punjab Assembly. Khaybar Pakhtunkhwa Chief Minister Mahmood Khan is also expected to send a summary to the governor to dissolve the provincial assembly today. However, the market came under added pressure on signs that the government's negotiations with the IMF may be delayed.